going to bark. So <laughs> it's been one year since Canine Copper joined the Winston-Salem Police Force. We got him in March. We trained for 400 hours. You see he's starting to lean into you already. Copper is an overly loving dog. Sometimes I, I tell people at demonstrations, you would not know he's a police dog unless I came in uniform. But when it comes time for business, there's no question what Copper is. You give him another uh, one of our commands, he turns into a police dog. All right, you want to go fight? And a very successful police dog. His very first actual street deployment, we were um, asked to track three guys that had fled from a wrecked, um, a hit and run. Uh, the officers knew kind of where they went to. Uh, so we, we went back there and um, deployed them. He was able to pick up their scent real easy and he actually tracked, they were laid down in kudzu. Um, he tracked straight up to, to the three of them. And Copper's training didn't just stop after those four months. Ready to go to work? All right. His initial training's 400 hours, 10 work weeks, and then every Tuesday we meet for four hours as a canine unit. Um, just go over the basic narcotics, tracking, um, suspect apprehension, um, just to make sure to keep the dogs fine tuned. While Copper continues his training, Gary is able to learn from him too. Oh, that's a good boy. Being a canine that's handler a is such time. a challenge because you do have to. The dog just, you just put it on the end of a leash and go, okay, go find the guy. You've got to watch, you know, you got to be safe. And although Copper has a Oops. huge responsibility, Gary makes sure that he's enjoying it. Good boy, yeah. Yeah. That includes going from tough guy to cuddly furry friend. People want to see the police dog. They don't want to hear me talk about anything. They want to see the police dog, pet the police dog and, and stuff like that. And he is one that we're able to do that with.